This is Del Marva Connection. Welcome to Del Marva Connection. I'm Hunter Littlepage. Here's a look at the headlines on this Tuesday. Jobs are coming to Delmarva with the selling of Pinnacle Foods' Vlasic Processing Facility in Millsboro. Local chicken company Allen Foods has announced they have bought the facility. Allen Foods tells WMDT-TV they will remodel the building, turning it, turning it into a state-of-the-art poultry processing facility. The plant, which is expected to open in November 2014, will bring around 700 jobs to Sussex County. Police confirm a Sunday evening arson in Accomack County. Reports came in shortly after 9 p.m. on Sunday that a structure had caught fire at the 244,000 block of Drummond Town Road in Accomack. No injuries have been reported, although the number of arsons since November has now escalated to 76. If you have any information, contact the Accomack County Arson Tip Line at 757 655 one four three seven. You can remain anonymous. A twenty-five thousand dollar reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest in Accomack County. New details are coming to light in a high-speed chase in Somerset County that we first reported to you yesterday. The cause for the early Sunday morning chase is that the suspect reportedly refused law enforcement's request to pull over, taking them on a high-speed chase that ended with the suspect running on foot before jumping into the Wicomico River. The suspect died, and two officers reportedly had a mild case of hypothermia. Investigations continue in Somerset County. Route 50 in Easton was closed on Monday afternoon due to a multi-vehicle accident, including a Maryland State Police trooper. State Police Sergeant Mark Black tells WBOC-TV that the accident happened at the intersection of Route 50 and Dutchman's Lane in Easton. The, the unidentified trooper crashed into a vehicle shortly before 3 p.m. on Monday. All involved are flown to shock trauma in Baltimore with unknown injuries. Investigations continue in Talbot County. Don't forget, Delmar Connection is on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.